Better wear that motherfucker throw out. We present to you a Rome Productions. What's good everybody? If you're first time here my content and of this video, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be watching a TikTok video with this beautiful black woman and she's going back and forth with her mother concerning her afro and I can personally upfront experience or I can personally upfront relate to this whole issue here, but we're gonna to get to that in a second, so let's get into it. It was sitting a certain way, now that it done Show it up, you gotta style it a little bit. It is styled. It really isn't. It really is, watch. No. Styled. My hair is done. My hair is it's done. It's not done. How is my hair not done? You need to put like a little part or something in it. Like a part. Put a part. A part. Yeah, I'll show you. Like. Or, or put like a pin here. So Girl, not, like here. No, not there. Yeah. But. No, let me see. Or, or ring both sides up. Oh, who's going to wear a mohawk? That's not a mohawk. Just put it like that. That's cute. It is. Or one side up, one side down. That's cute. So is this. <laughs> it's so massive. It's so massive. <laughs> So like I said, I can honestly relate to where she is coming from. This beautiful black girl here with a with a nice fro, nice beautiful afro here, is being <laughs> harassed by her mother because she feels that her fro isn't styled. It's it's not doesn't have the right curl pattern. All this stuff. When I tell you I have had I when I tell you I've had to go through this on a daily basis back in 2018 I never forget it 2017 2018 I was going through this 24 7 it was crazy and you, like high school you know I, I had my afro big and then it got messed up because a barber I told them I wanted the temp fade they didn't give me the temp fade and they gave me a square top so I had to start all over with my afro and you know, rebuilding, going, because I, I would have had a bigger afro. I would have had an even bigger afro, you know, if, if they didn't mess up my afro. But uh, I started all over with my afro, um, grew, grew my hair out, all such and such things. And as I graduated high school and started to grow my afro, my mom would always talk about, you need, you need to trim it up, you need to shape it up, you ain't got no curl pattern. Just like this, I had a mo I had a moment just like this, where I was in the bathroom and I was picking my hair out, and my mom like, you going to church like that? Me going to church looking good, profiling. If I would have had an iPhone during that time, would have been flawless. Would have been a, a beautiful video, nice throwback. Still is a nice throwback. You you just can't see what was really going on here. But I had it going on. I knew I had it going on. My my fro, my hair was looking nice. But what my mother told me was that the curl pattern here was ridiculous. <laughs> there was no curl pattern in my hair. It wasn't shaped. It you know I needed to get it trimmed up. It didn't look good. It didn't look right. And you ain't going to church like that. You need to do something with it all type of stuff <laughs> and yet I went to church like that we would go to go in the corral we would go to certain places women would be like oh I love your hair my mom would just roll her eyes to the back of her brains because she didn't understand it and I I feel I feel 100% with this what with this girl is going through See, it got to a point where my mom didn't like my afro to the point where she wanted my hair gone. She told me how she had dreams about my hair would, would be gone. I would go and get a haircut and all my hair would be cut off. That's how much she didn't like my hair. There would be times like she would be having heated debates with me on what to do with my hair because she don't feel like a man should have all that much hair. And yet I still held my ground because 
growing my hair out was a symbol of my freedom. It was a symbol of my consciousness. It was a symbol of me developing and growing as a person. Because growing up all throughout elementary school, middle school, and a little bit of high school, I would always have my hair at a low, uh, at a low, a uh, low fade or low cut, because I always saw myself as uh, my hair not being good enough. I always thought that you know if I if I keep my hair at at a low, my hair won't be too nappy. You know, and this mindset developed when my mom would comb through my hair in elementary school, and if it got too big, if it got a little too tall, and she couldn't comb through it. She'd be like, ooh, your hair nappy, you need to go get a haircut. I had, I had something similar like this happen when I started to get cornrows. And my cousin was, was having a little bit of difficulty with my hair. I had a lot of hair at the time. And I thought she was gonna say what my mother was gonna tell me, right? She was like, oh my God, your hair is so, and I thought she was gonna say nappy, right? She was like, it's so beautiful. And it caught me off guard. It caught me completely off guard because when people will always mess with my hair, they will always constantly tell me I had black women in high school, junior year and, and senior year, what you gonna do with your hair? When you gonna cut it? When you gonna get a fade? When you gonna do, you need to do something with your hair? It's not, it's not a little right. Yo man, I ain't cutting this off, bro. It ain't happening. It ain't, it's not happening. I ain't cutting this off. They, they got it wrong. They got it wrong. I ain't cutting this off. Got me fucked up, bro. Got me fucked up. Meanwhile, <laughs> they can't even wear their hair out. Their hair can't even touch down to their shoulders, much less to their, to the back of their head. <laughs> you know, to the back of their head, all the way down to their neck. Some of them can't even go past their earlobe. But you have the nerve to tell me what I need to do with my hair, miss. And I hate to say it, but majority of the women in high school that had an issue with my hair were black girls you know and I don't generalize black women be like oh they don't like when black men because I know a lot of black women who do love my hair but it was always the self-hating ones it was always the ones that always wore the weave it was always the ones that kept braids in their hair you know it was always the ones that never wanted to wear their hair they always wanted to have their hair be artificial or their hair was permed or whatever the case is those were the ones that always had something to say about my hair when you go, I had women even tell me that I need to perm my hair. You would look so good with a perm. I'm just like, you you want me out here looking like Cat Williams? It was ridiculous. The the amount of hate that I would get from some of these black girls in high school concerning my hair was ridiculous. But there was always there was always those those group of black women in high school that loved my hair, they wanted to play in my hair, they wanted to corn roll, twist, braid my hair, all this type of stuff. And those are the women that I appreciated. I don't want to make this video too long, but I find it very interesting. A lot of elders, you know, they, they look down upon the natural hair movement. I, a lot of black elders look down upon, you know, they, they, they consider this movement to be something that, that was already done. You know, when I used to wear my fro, when I used to go to church, you know, there'd be elders like, oh, I see you're trying to bring the Black Power Movement back. You're trying to bring the 70s back. Let me just like, that's so corny. Like, <laughs> why, why would I be trying to bring back a movement? You know, just because I want to wear my hair out. I know, you know, it's just, it's just a joke. They're just joking. But it just kind of shows where their mentality is because not only are you downplaying on my hair, but you're downplaying on the movement as well. You see what I'm saying? So like, for you to be over here mocking a movement that was supposed to empower you, and you over here in church with a perm and a lace front and a wig, you won't even wear your own hair out. You know what I'm saying? You're worshiping a white Jesus. This, this, this kind of shows where things play a hand in concerning whether or not you love yourself. But I conclude this video with saying for the women out there, for the men out there who are growing their hair out and you love your hair and you're styling your hair and you're wearing that fro, wear that fro, all right? If anything, if you don't know what to do with your hair, wear your fro, all right? Don't have to take care of the fro, but wear your fro and style it well. 
and just just your fro being in its natural form when you have it picked out and everything like that just for your fro to be in its natural form is beautiful enough I don't care what your mama tells you I don't care what your daddy tells you your grandma your granddad your uncle your nephew your niece your your cousins your friends at school people on Instagram your crush <laughs> Don't let anybody talk you out of loving yourself, all right? So with that being said, let me know in the comment section below concerning the whole matters at hand, concerning this whole topic concerning natural hair and growing your hair out. Did you personally go through this as a, a you know, growing up in middle school, growing up in high school, even now, if you're going through this now, let's have a conversation about this in the comment section below, all right? Make sure you like the video. I'm going to give you time right now to like the video, all right? It helps out with the algorithm and gets this video out to more people. So make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with other people, all right? Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am out. Feeling focused, got my optics on the light. Feel on the prize, you compromise, go suicide. I pay the price, it's just me, myself, and I. Riding dolo, hit me up, might not reply. Feeling focused, got my optics on the light. Feel on the prize, you compromise, go suicide. I pay the price, hey.